There are 7 billion, well actually 7.1 billion humans on the planet. And each one of us has a unique character. So what determines your character? You do, and all the people around you. And of course some genetics too. But there's new science proving that if you focus on certain parts of who you are, you can develop your character and ultimately live a more meaningful, successful, and happy life, no matter what your circumstances. I mean, isn't that what we're all trying to figure out? Oh, what? This whole idea about developing our character really took shape in 2004, when two psychologists suggested that instead of just focusing on all the things that can go wrong with us, it's also important to celebrate all the things that can go right. You see, they looked throughout history to identify core virtues that humans across cultures have agreed lead to a meaningful life. And then they identified 24 character strengths that when practiced and developed could lead to these virtues. And they organized them, like scientists have done throughout history to understand things better. These groundbreaking studies showed that every person is a unique combination of these strengths. Like for me, I'm high on curiosity. I could work a little on the prudence. Actually, what is prudence? Anyhow, one of the most interesting parts of all this is they found that if we focus on building upon the strengths we have, it has a lasting effect on our happiness and well-being. So think about it. What are your top five strengths? Now another part of this is that you can help shape other people's character too. They found that the key to human relationships is ultimately appreciating the character strengths in others. To explore this, we asked people around the world, who do you admire and why? I admire my mother the most because she's very loving and caring. The person I admire the most is I'm single, of course. My sister, I admire the most because she's so tough are so brave. People who use their creative energy to make the world a better place. This powerful new framework paved the way for a whole new era of social science that it turns out is unpacking a very old idea. many different theories about character throughout history. What scientists in this field agree on is that character matters and that character strengths can be learned, practiced, and cultivated. So when you think about yourself, what are your strengths? And how can you find ways to use them more in your home, work, school, and community? It's like you have these superpowers and focusing your attention on them makes them stronger. And then if you focus on the people around you and their strengths, it makes them stronger too. As each of us becomes our best versions of ourselves and encourages others to do the same, we can lead to important changes throughout the world. Just imagine a world infused with more humanity, justice, courage, wisdom, and compassion. So if you can be a better version of yourself, how do you want to be? I definitely want to be somebody that other people can feel they can rely on. A man who was courageous. Somebody who went for their goals. <laughs> As a risk taker. Kind. Exactly like my mom. Beautiful, strong, and powerful. I don't want people to say that I'm funny. Who is a nice person. Musical. Generous. Be yourself. Kind. Accountable. Incondicional. How many child are I going to see? También sensible. Profesional. Charismatic. I want to become someone who, when the time comes for me to die, I go, oh my goodness, I have used it up. I have wrung it dry. Everybody is a star. They 
Let's learn how to shine.